In the dimly lit corners of American suburbia, Cindy's life unfolded like a fragmented novel with unpredictable twists and turns. A young woman haunted by the ghosts of her past, she grappled with the complexities of love, betrayal, and forgiveness. Cindy's mother, Sarah, had once been the sun in her father's universe, but her light dimmed as she chose a path away from her family. The pain of her departure proved too much for Cindy's father, who sought solace in the bottom of a bottle, leaving behind a shattered family and a daughter with a wounded heart. As Cindy blossomed into womanhood, she found herself entranced by her mother's new husband, Joseph. The forbidden allure of this new father figure stirred emotions within Cindy that she had never experienced before. She felt a magnetic pull, an irresistible urge to make him see her as more than just a stepdaughter. Using every wall at her disposal, Cindy set out to ensnare Joseph in her web of charm and allure. She became a master of seduction, carefully weaving a tapestry of affection and desire around him. It was not long before Joseph succumbed to Cindy's beguiling ways, and they fell deeply in love. As their secret romance flourished, Cindy and Joseph could no longer deny their passion. They decided to leave everything behind and elope, seeking a life together away from the prying eyes of the world. Yet, in the aftermath of their elopement, Cindy's conscience gnawed at her like a relentless critic. She knew the pain she had caused her mother, and a part of her longed for forgiveness. She summoned the courage to call Sarah, hoping that time and distance would mend the wounds she had inflicted. Mom, it's me, Cindy, she said, her voice trembling with emotion. Sarah's voice on the other end was ice cold. What do you want, Cindy? Cindy hesitated, her heart pounding in her chest. I, I just want to say I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything. For leaving, for hurting you, for everything. There was a long pause, and then Sarah replied, Sorry won't change anything, Cindy. You made your choices, and you have to live with them. The words cut deep into Cindy's soul, leaving her heart heavy with regret. She had hoped for reconciliation, for the warmth of her mother's love once more, but it seemed that the wounds were too deep to heal. Broken and alone, Cindy and Joseph tried to build a life together, but the weight of their choices hung heavy on their hearts. After four years of happiness, their love began to unravel. Joseph strayed, seeking solace in the arms of another woman, leaving Cindy heartbroken and adrift. With her world shattered once more, Cindy decided to return to her childhood home, seeking comfort in the memories of a time long gone. But as she arrived at the house, a cruel twist of fate awaited her. Strangers now occupied the space that once held the echoes of her family's laughter. The new tenants informed her of Sarah's fate, the aftermath of her daughter's betrayal. Cindy's heart sank as she learned that her mother had withdrawn into herself, unable to bear the pain of her daughter's actions, and had passed away. Sarah's final resting place was in a nearby cemetery, where her gravestone stood as a somber reminder of love lost and forgiveness denied.